Hi, in this Let's Create episode, we're going to create a jigsaw puzzle game like this. You'll be able to choose one of several different images to use as your jigsaw from the main menu. Clicking on it will give you a scattered game area where you'll be able to move the pieces into the right areas where they lock in place once you get them correctly. And when the jigsaw is complete, you go back to the main menu and you can choose another one. Let's get started. We start by creating a standard 2D Unity project called Jigsaw. The first thing we're going to do is create some UI to choose which images we want to show. So let's right click, create a new folder to store our images in. I've called this Textures. Let's drag in our textures and you can find a zip file with all of these images in the description below. Or you can use your own images. We've got a vertically oriented cake and flowers, house and waterfall which are horizontal. Now we'll right click UI image. We're going to use this UI element to show our image select. On the image, you can set the sprite to your cake. You'll see that the proportions are not maintained. If we click the preserve aspect ratio, that'll sort us out. It's a bit small, so make the image 256 by 256 so it fills up more of our screen. And I'll just move it so it's actually in our screen. On the canvas, we also set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size so that it always stays approximately this big. And we'll use a reference resolution of 1920 by 1080 just so we'll know how things will roughly look like. Back to the image, we want to make these clickable, so we'll add a component of type button. If you'll hit play, you'll see there's a darkening when you hover, which you may not be able to see on the video. And when you click on it, it goes much darker and you can clearly see that. So that's all we need for this. Let's rename it image button, create a new prefabs directory. And we'll drag it in there. Let's delete that from the screen for now and create a panel to add them to. Right click UI panel. We're going to use this to display our image selection. So let's drag our prefab under it and duplicate it a few times. I'm using Control D here to do that. They all appear over each other and we don't want that. We want them to be laid out nicely. So on our panel, we'll add a new component of type grid layout group. This does exactly what you expect and all the child components are laid out nicely in a grid. We'll just make a few changes here. Firstly, let's change the cell size to 256 so our images are big enough to see, and we'll change the child alignment to middle center, so they start in the middle. Spacing is how much space between each image, and we'll set that to 10 so they're not touching each other. We don't want this gray background, so let's just remove the image component from our panel. That's better. Now you can see, if we keep duplicating these, they'll expand to fill the grid in a nice way. We're going to programmatically create the images at runtime so we can delete them all for now. Now right click, create an empty game object and we'll call this Game Manager. Create a scripts folder and in there we'll add a new c -sharp script called Game Manager. Then we can attach this to our Game Manager object. Let's jump into some code. Before we do anything, let's add a new using statement at the top, using unityengine.ui. This means we'll have access to the various UI elements we'll need. Let's get the references to the UI elements now. So I'm using the header attribute here to group them all together. These don't need to be accessed outside of this file, so they're all private, but they all have the serialized field attribute on them so we can set them in the inspector. First, we have a list of type texture 2D, which will contain our image textures, which are the images we want the jigsaws of. Then we'll get the transform of the level select panel so that we can instantiate things within it. Finally, the level select prefab. We'll assign to an image which we'll need to set the sprite. So in our start method, we'll create the UI. We'll use the for each loop over each texture in our image textures list. For each of them, we'll instantiate the level select prefab inside the level select panel. The second argument here is the parent which handles that for us. So these will all be captured by that grid layout. 
Then all we need to do is assign the sprite of the image. As we've passed in the images as texture 2Ds, we'll need to use sprite.create to do this. The first argument is the texture, and the second is what region of the texture to take, which for us is the whole thing. So we go from 00, zero to texture width and texture height. Finally is the pivot, which we can just use vector 2.0, as we don't need that. Now back in Unity, we can drag on our panel and our image button prefab. Then, if we expand the image textures, we can use the plus icon to add space for four textures here. You can then drag them in. Or you can use the selection mechanism to add them directly. Hitting play, we now have these loaded in and it's looking great. That's it for this episode. I've split this series up into smaller chunks to hopefully aid your learning. In the next episode, we'll implement the creation of all the jigsaw pieces with the correct part of the puzzle on them. As ever, the full code is on GitHub and linked in the description below. See you next time.